Hello, girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich, and welcome to Table Talk Thursday. As per usual, I will have the link to our Table Topics Cube that we are taking today's topics from, or topic from. Um, it will be in the description box below. Um, while you're down there, make sure you give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button uh, so you will see more videos by me. And uh, while you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment to your um, to your uh, response on today's table topics question, uh, table talk question, which is, uh, and I love reading your comments. I, I do reply to most comments. Uh, if I don't reply, I usually hit a thumbs up and whatnot. Um, and if you make a video, let me know that you made a video so I can go and watch it. Anyway, getting into the to today's uh, table talks topic, <laughs> see how many times I can say that, is what did you borrow and never return? I can pretty honestly say that um, there is not much that I have that I have actually borrowed but have not returned. Um, not that I can think of anyway. I can tell you that there are things that have landed into my possession that belong to other people, not necessarily that I've borrowed from them, um, such as I have somebody else's photos that I knew 10 plus years ago. Um, I have a box of their photos, sorry, because we would... Uh, we would get to together and we would do scrapbooking and whatnot, but they left their stuff at, at my apartment one day whenever we were doing that and never took them again. So I'm left with all of their photos from when they were little and everything, and I don't have any of their contact information anymore, I don't think. So... Oddly enough, I have a box of photos in case we do run into one another one day or in case uh, we do reconnect one day that this box of their stuff is, you know, in my possession and they can have it back, um, especially with photos. I really want them to have their photos back. Um, another individual. Uh, whenever she left our squadron, whenever I was down in Kansas, uh, she went into, or she went out to be a civilian, uh, rather than be active duty military, active duty air force, uh, to be specific. And she left a box. She was one of the people that worked in the office, um, of the squadron building, which we were just down the road from. And she left a a box of her stuff you know it had a mug in there it had a you know a couple like personal items uh like personal hygiene items like you know lotion and stuff like that and uh a couple personal papers now i haven't seen this person since then and i held on to that stuff for a good again probably about 10 years before this quarantine started and I said you know what I'm going through all of this stuff and I have to purge uh, again going back to the beginning of quarantine I got rid of like 80 bags worth of garbage and junk um, I took the papers and we have a uh, burn pit out back that we would take you know some of the papers and use for kindling in order to burn wood and whatnot to start the fire and um, I I said you know what the mug is nice I'm keeping the mug um, and all the other things either they're no good anymore and she's not gonna want them anyway or some of the personal paperwork it's like if she hasn't asked by now or if nobody's raised this uh, question of them and I mean, it's not like stuff that um, would be detrimental if she didn't have it, that type of thing. This is like the G-Wiz papers, like, you know, uh, 
letters of uh, of counseling and stuff like that that you can get in the military. Uh, disciplinary actions, the paperwork from disciplinary actions um, that you could get. And it was paperwork like that. Um, she wasn't a bad individual or anything, so, you know, not anything like that. Um, but it was paperwork that was like gee whiz paperwork. It's not even paperwork that you would put up in your I love me room. Like, hey, look at this award that I got. And isn't this so nice and wonderfully framed and whatnot? It wasn't anything like that. So, I mean, it's not vitally important paperwork. It's not like I had her DD Form 214 that says that she was in the military. So, nothing vitally important. She hasn't raised the issue uh, or asked anybody. Um, you know, I don't really talk to her anymore. So, if she hasn't said anything, and I do remember mentioning to her that I had a box of her stuff, and she said, oh yeah, I'll come by and get it. And it hasn't happened. I held on to it for a lengthy amount of time, and still hasn't raised the issue. So, I ended up dispersing of that, or uh, getting rid of it. Now, that's different than the photos, because the photos are somebody's memories. They took these pictures that deserves to be given back and one day um if or when we reconnect on you know at some time i will send it to them i don't care but don't have any contact information for them anymore so unfortunately i'm uh being a steward of it until then uh other than that i do have one or two things from my former business partner that um, I have kind of sort of borrowed and, and said, oh, I, I like this. And she's like, oh, just hold on to it for me. And it's not left my possession. And um, there's some situations going on there that I'm not going to go too deep into until it's all resolved and legally done. Um, so I don't want to get into the weeds too much on that, but yeah, if she asked me for that stuff back, I might give that, give it back. I mean, it's not something that would vitally change my life if I didn't have it and it is rightfully theirs, but I don't even think she remembers I have it and I'm okay. And, uh. Until that stuff's settled, as far as the legal stuff is settled, she ain't getting anything back anyway. So, I can play this game too. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, other than that, I I haven't borrowed anything from my, from my parents, from my aunts and uncles. Uh, my brother, no. I haven't really borrowed anything from any of them. Anything that I have is... Things that were either gifted to me as far as family photos. Any family photos that I have were uh, scans of the originals. Excuse you. But I don't really have anything that was borrowed per se. That it actually legitimately belongs to somebody else. And uh, some of the things that are borrowed are actually borrowed items. Um, are being held hostage. So, um, yeah, maybe a petty game to play, but you know what? It is what it is. And uh, if it gives me a little bit more edge to get things done that need to happen, then it will, but I don't think it really matters either way. But um, I don't think, looking around here, I don't think I have anything of anybody else's that's actually borrowed. Yeah, everything pretty much in my house is is mine or my boyfriend's. So, hmm. Yeah. I don't really borrow stuff. Um, if I do borrow something, I try to give it back as quickly as possible. Um, especially if it's something that, um, that I would borrow and need to use for a little bit. Yeah, as soon as I'm done using it, I try to give it back as quickly as possible. 
That way I don't forget about it and I don't end up holding on to it for 10 plus years. Um, I don't borrow people's tools. I have m more than enough tools of my own. If I need a tool, uh, then I will go out and get it. Uh, or that thing might not just, you know, might not get fixed. Um, or, you know, I will find some way to, to go without it is usually how it how it works out excuse you okay she's on my lap she's getting a little crazy because it is almost dinner time and somebody's hungry anyway so yeah i try not to borrow things too often because of that situation so whenever i do borrow things i try to give them back pretty quickly anyway um, I think that's all that I have for this one. This is an interesting one because I think it's common for people to uh, borrow something and even accidentally keep it um, and just, you know, they, they don't think of returning it or every time they think of returning it, they're like, ah, not today, maybe tomorrow, and it, it lapses for years on end until somebody says, well, I once had that, and or I, I once had something, um, and I don't really lend out things that often. Uh, things that I am willing to lose, I will lend out, and I don't have an issue with that. Um, and that's pretty much like a set standard for me now. I did lend out a copy of the book Terror Spells, and um, I lend it to somebody whose cat ended up peeing on it. So, yeah, I ended up not getting the exact same copy uh, whenever I went to buy it, and uh, yeah, that was a whole ordeal. But, yeah, I don't usually lend out things that I don't intend to live without. And... I don't really borrow things that, unless I absolutely need it. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, so that was today's question. If you uh, have a little story to go along uh, with this week's question, again, the question is, what did you borrow and never return? So, anyway, leave those comments down below. Or make a video response and leave a comment saying, hey, I did a video on this on this topic. And, you know, let me know what you what you think in that video. I'll probably end up leaving a comment. Probably end up uh, subscribing if uh, if you're making content that I enjoy and whatnot. So anyway, uh, catch me again on Saturday for our witchy book club series. I, I had to think of my outro there. Um, catch me on Saturday for our witchy book club series. And we are going through again, um, the inner temple of witchcraft. So join me then. And until next time, may you have love hugs and ladybugs. Bye-bye.